latest on August 25th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Three tropical storms are active around the world, Evo in the eastern Pacific, Dorian in the Atlantic and Bailu moving inland over China. It's August 25th, day 237 of the year. 47 storms have formed so far this year around the world. On day 86 of Atlantic hurricane season, Tropical Storm Dorian has formed number 5L. Uh, Evo on day 103 of the Eastern Pacific season it still persists off the coast of Mexico. The Western Pacific has Bailu moving inland over southeastern China right now and Invest 99W which is still alive in the Philippine Sea and in the Southern Hemisphere nothing of note is currently occurring here. So looking first to Tropical Storm Bailu, winds of 45 miles per hour and a pressure of 992 millibars moving inland as we speak as this video is published 7 miles from Dongshan, China. 23.6 north, 117.5 east as of midnight UTC, August 25th. What's expected of this system is quite simple, weakening, dying off and then possibly the remnants recurving off towards the northeast. This system could still deliver 250 millimeters more rain in China and indeed in parts of Taiwan, although rain should be abating in Taiwan. Tropical Storm Dorian has formed in the last few hours now with winds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,008 millibars. Uh, it could be a hurricane threat for the Caribbean region. 697 miles from Barbados right now, 10.7 north, 49.5 degrees west. As we follow Dorian's track expectations over the next few days, uh, we think it will pass very close to Barbados and then move through somewhere near St. Lucia, Martinique, Dominica and then off into the Eastern Caribbean where it could develop into a hurricane and further intensification up until landfall in the Dominican Republic. That might change the track forecast and indeed the intensity. Stay tuned very closely if you have interest in these regions. Here's some latest wind shear uh, imagery of that said storm right now. Uh, you can see at the moment it is heading into a high pocket of wind shear um, low amounts to its east I'm not sure whether that will follow the storm as it goes along we'll see how that wind shear might or might not impact Dorian well here is the big picture in the Atlantic uh, the remnants of Chantal are still alive way up there in the North Atlantic 98L has still has a high chance of development uh, off the Gulf of uh, off the coast of the United States moving off towards the northeast and in the Gulf of Mexico there is an area of interest that is just off the coast of Texas right now quite clearly visible there taking up the northwestern quadrant of the Gulf of Mexico Tropical Storm Evo is still alive in the eastern Pacific, 40 mile an hour winds now um, will be weakening to a depression very soon we imagine in the next 24 hours. There it is churning off the coast of the Baja California Peninsula. Looking at the central Pacific, not much going on, although there is an interesting little system to the north of Hawaii there. And in the western Pacific, Invest 99W is uh, still quite potent there as it moves through some of those uh, through Yap and Palau, that region, uh, it could become a tropical cyclone before striking the Philippines. Bailu is there as well. You can see it there making landfall with its very disheveled looking so-called eye feature. It isn't an eye of any particular sort though. The Australia and South Pacific region is very quiet right now. Very few areas of land reporting significant weather. The Indian Ocean is also looking fairly quiet right now, uh, more quiet than it was yesterday. There's still a few um, bits of convection bubbling up across central and eastern India. Sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific are very warm, looking out for maybe that next storm that might form over in the eastern Pacific, maybe sometime soon. 30 degrees plus still off the coast of Mexico, very warm, as is the Gulf of Mexico and the western Caribbean, 30 degrees plus if a storm finds itself in that region. The Atlantic as a whole, pretty warm now. We are very close to the peak season and indeed the peak sea surface temperatures. The Indian Ocean is fairly warm as well, 28 degrees or more. The Western Pacific hot spot is in the Gulf of Tonkin and also just east of the Mariana Islands. So any storms in those regions could blow up. 
Well, here is Tropical Storm Bailu, very large now, and uh, you can again see that large amount of rotation on what would normally be called an eye, but it really isn't one because it doesn't have any eye structure. It's just a massive rotating area um, of convection, which is mainly displaced to the south. Some of it will be moving over China, delivering significant rainfall totals. Tropical Storm Evo, a close-up of this one as well. Uh, you can see that there's some convection still hanging on. Uh, it is looking too bad really and it should stay as a tropical storm at least for a little bit longer but we expect sometime in the next 24 hours it will lose that status and finally tropical storm dorian here is a look at the storm uh, rather small in comparison to the other systems although this is zoomed out a little bit more uh, you can see the lesser Antilles there in relation to the storm uh, and they will be impacted in about two or three days time we expect to see some watches and warnings start cropping up in the next 24 hours for some of those islands so as of August 25th, this is where we're at right now. The next name in the Atlantic is Erin. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Juliet. In the Central Pacific, the next name on the list is Arconi on list one. In the Western Pacific, the next name here is Podal. And in the North Indian Ocean, we're still waiting for Hika on list eight. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text if you're not there already somehow, subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find our Facebook and Twitter pages too, search Force 13 all in text, and you can interact with us on there as well. That's all for now, another Tropical Weather Bulletin follows tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.